Good morning. It's Monday, February 10th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Light on My Path, and our scripture is Psalm 119. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. I've promised it once and I'll promise it again. I will obey your righteous regulations. I have suffered much, O Lord. Restore my life again as you promised. Lord, accept my offering of praise and teach me your regulations. My life constantly hangs in the balance, but I will not stop obeying your instructions. The wicked have set their traps for me, but I will not turn from your commandments. Your laws are my treasure. They are my heart's delight. I am determined to keep your decrees to the very end. Let's face it. When you have some age on you, the light can grow a little dim for weary eyes. My dad almost made it to triple digits, and his eyesight was amazing. Dad had been wearing glasses since his 40s, and when he reached 70, he awakened one morning, and, as older people do, the first thing he did was reach for the glasses. Well, he put them on, and as he looked around, everything was fuzzy. So Dad removed the glasses to clean them, and the world snapped into view. He was blessed with what his doctor termed second sight, or presbyopia. A physical blessing is a gift that's always right in front of you. Our pain and disabilities are front burner issues. And when one is blessed with a pain solved or a weakness dissolved, the world snaps into alignment. New possibilities are in focus. It's much the same in the spiritual realm, only deeper. The psalmist describes a light in dark places. More dramatic than the alleviation of physical pain, the enlightening of spiritual understanding is a medicine to the soul. In the book of Isaiah, the prophet laments how much his generation, perhaps like ours, was walking in darkness, but foreshadows the coming of light for our souls, Isaiah 59. So there's no justice among us, and we know nothing about right living. We look for light, but find only darkness. We look for bright skies, but walk in gloom. And Jesus clearly picked up Isaiah's words and drove them home to the point. In John chapter 8, Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. Now these days, there's a lot of spiritual glop that's supposed to pass for enlightenment, but offers very little in the way of hope. People dabble in spiritual vacuity that's supposed to place them on a higher plane, but in the end is hollow and shallow. When the bubble bursts, emptiness fills the room. That our generation is like Isaiah's can hardly be disputed. The world is deeply divided, and America is truly the world's leader in that commodity. And what it will come down to for each soul is whether there's a hunger and thirst for the true light of heaven or the darkness of momentary comfort. For you today, the psalmist's final word to us today is his determination to walk in the light of God's word until the very end of his days here on earth. In our day, we talk about finishing well, and this is it, to know God's word and heed God's word. This is the light on my path, and like the psalmist, I'll stick with that until these earthly lights have run their course. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.